So it's been a while. So for anyone who may know, uh, I had a YouTube channel when from when I was about 12 or 13, often through to about 16, 17. And in those sort of five or so, five or six years, I had a lot of videos that went up and went out and they weren't, they weren't necessarily great. In fact, there wasn't a lot that were great. They were all pretty terrible. Uh, <laughs> but the point was, I would never set out to make anything fantastic or to go viral. I never wanted to do that. I just wanted to have fun, like you're supposed to, just look back and think, oh my god, I either did some really good stuff uh, or did some really terrible stuff. But either way, you always make good memories and that's all I set out for. So for anyone who does know um, which what world I'm on about, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'll just get to see how much it's changed. If you don't know, then I'll try and get some snippets um, from my old channel uh, and see if I can just sort of get some bits together, just try and give you a rough idea of what this used to look like. Now, I am just going to say, um, at this point, like every teenager was back then, you had your own world and you had some things of stampedes in it. I'm just going to say that. There's a couple things um, which are going to be the same and some things which are going to be based off that. Um, but it doesn't matter because we're all mature, I think. Um, but either way, I am starting in the wrong room. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep and we can start in the day. Um, so... The first thing I always used to do every single morning, like recording or not, every single time I slept in my bedroom on Minecraft, I would come out off the balcony before the chicken came out, which there's reference number one, uh, and try and do, that was terrible, <laughs> I'm supposed to jump off there and then do my 360s and come down, and then I had Red Cat's room next to it, and then I had Matt's room next to mine, um, but the first major thing that I've done is I've been around the entire house and I've basically put everything in birchwood and sandstone because it was very mismatched because there's colours absolutely everywhere from all different things so I was like I need to get this sorted <laughs> so for the most part it's up like a double layered wall now so like if I just sort of look through here just to show you real quick uh, you can see that obviously you've got the outside wall and then the inside wall as well uh, the entire house is pretty much like that but as I'm, for a lot of things, you can see it's obviously missing uh, some windows, <laughs> which could be a little bit better. So the first thing over this side, because there's not actually that much in this world, there's not as much as I remember. Um, so the first thing is going to be Stampy's Hotel. Um, I'm pretty sure we all had this at one point. Uh, I was just dying for a hotel. Um, and then obviously when he built this, I was like, absolutely fantastic, sweet, I'll have it. Um, and then a couple weeks later, I thought, I'm just going to get like on for it basically um for having it so i was like okay sure let's try and build something else so i ended up just trying to build a square one and it didn't work out too well um <laughs> but that's to be honest probably one of the things that i'm going to be rebuilding um my cake uh, i pretty much had a cake in every single world that i had i think the first one i had was like a sky island um where i had a cake but as you can see oh what's in there oh just cakes ironically <laughs> um as you can see it, it's not really built out too great, and you're going to see that a lot. There's not going to be a, things that are you know, absolutely incredible. Um, and then this here was my soggy doggy school. Um, so we used to have, obviously, our mining class. There was... What was this one? Oh, my cake class. Oh, my baking class, sorry. Uh, there was... I love pumpkins, um, 43. Uh, he had his fighting class. Uh, which basically taught your defense and everything and then there was my other friend shadow um who basically did all like potion brewing and all that kind of stuff and to be fair we all just kind of like taught each other all this stuff because we all like had like our one thing we were good at uh, mine wasn't just baking I'm <laughs> but you know we just had like our own thing um <clears throat> but like on a newer version as well that i had because i had to go into like my old old xbox 360 to try and find this on the new one that I had, I had like a big like fancy like column out here and it looked really cool and fancy but I just haven't rebuilt that back on here yet uh, <laughs> but it's all good, I'll get round to it um, then this was my terrible hotel that I tried building uh, there was some, I don't know what it was, there was just a random wooden box here and I kind of forgot about this <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot about the big hole um, I don't know what down then so in my hotel obviously we all know what Stampy's was in my, I think it was like a foresty theme. Yeah, so it was like a foresty one. Then there was pumpkins as well, as you can tell. That's, 
that was his and then there was a little penthouse bit up at the top as well um which to be honest i didn't really know what to do for the room so i just kind of let other people do them and go nuts i think i did like the first floor like that was it uh, after that i was just like okay you know what just get some stuff and get it together and do your own thing i'm not really too bothered uh, <laughs> another thing i found a lot of is like a lot of um, a lot of signs from when we used to talk to each other uh, so we got from pumpkins um another one from pumpkins another one from pumpkins i think they were just all from pumpkins to be honest um but yeah so we used to have a little sort of like present here we used to have like a big christmas tree here and this was like where we used to put all the presents underneath um this i think was a swimming pool if i if i'm right so if we came through this way oh last door <laughs> There was like, I think this was supposed to be like an eating area, um, and then, I'm not really too sure what all these rooms were. I think they were supposed to be like changing rooms, uh, but you're supposed to come over to the counter to ask for the key, because that's how it is, or it used to be back then, because um, <laughs> uh, shops don't trust anyone. So I had my little hot tub with my little beds in it. I remember I had, a, um, sorry, I had a video that was literally just called Hot Tub Naps. I, uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Very, uh, very good. Um... And then obviously you had the pool and then oh safety this was a lifeguard uh, and then you could basically come up to the top um wherever where was my ladder my ladder's there um and then for like young for young people you had a smaller pool which was a bit higher up here not very deep i'm gonna be honest <laughs> uh, and then you could come through here for the bigger people and 360 straight into the pool um, it's, it's not the best design, is it, in the world? Uh, this is like the sort of thing I've been trying to do, just go through, get rid of all the old blocks and try and make it a little bit more, you know, appetizing and open and make it seem like you actually want to do something. Um, I'm not going to say anything on that sp specific situation. Um, my doghouse was up here, um, but through converting it to Xbox, uh, I can't actually, like, move any of my dogs anymore. Um, which is kind of sad, but, you know, we'll sort it. I've had a lot, apparently. Uh, <laughs> and I thought building and putting them up in a giant dog would be the easiest way to do it. So, I've missed a wall, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then I had a giant sort of... I think this was going to be like a barn at first, but obviously there's like a limit, isn't there? Um, on Xbox, there's like how many animals you can have. So I ended up just sort of doing it as a farm instead, which worked out pretty well because it grows. It's not the most efficient thing, but at the end of the day, if I'm on here for a while, I forget about it. It grows. We're all good. Um, and then we're coming on to my giant, well, I say my giant tree. This was my little tree. Um, <laughs> you could basically go down and there was going to be like an underground transport system, which one came out over that way behind the Rubik's Cube and the other one came out... Um, I think it was at the bottom of a well. Um, so that's good. Uh, I also had my makeshift... I, I would say makeshift love garden. I did move them all over. I had um, giant like paw prints over that way. Uh, I had them all on there, but obviously me going back to the old world, it's uh, brought them back over here again. But I'm just going to do a little run... Well, a little run through. And uh, I'm not sure if there's... there's 4J Studios is on there. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any people... That I recognise, obviously apart from my friends. And then there's a couple. Um I was like, was that Crumb Tom? Um I remember that animatronic. I remember him. I remember Stampy Nugget. Um I I remember that Tory. Tory Tor story. I remember him. Um but that's pretty much it to be honest. Um so what I'll do is I think I've got the most over this side. Um uh, so this was supposed to be my theatre, right? And I did do the inside, and I will show you. But what part of 13-year-old me thought this looked good? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I really wish, I, like, older me had gone back and told him, Hey, you can't do that. Uh, <laughs> it looks terrible. But we had a little kiosk of it there. I, I don't know what this was supposed to be. Whether it was for refreshments or anything like that. I didn't really do too much with the interior. Oh, hello. Um... So, I had, this was like sort of the cinema room, um, obviously where the cinema is, um, where you just watch films as opposed to like live performances. I don't think there was anything back here. 
Um, oh no, there's, there's some chests, some carrots. Was this like, like snacks for like, I think this is like snacks for the, um, the eh, it's for the cinema. Um, and then I think the next floor up then was like the actual theater bit, like for live performances and plays and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be truthful, I'm just with you. Um, but we're gonna find out. Uh, yeah. And I'm stuck. Hang on, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, God. Why are, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we had, yeah, so this was just sort of like the background set we used to have as like a standard. I'm not sure why the brown's there, I'm gonna be real. Um, okay, and there's nothing this side. And it wasn't too exciting, was it really? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> So let's just go head up to the top floor, see if there's anything more interesting up there. And it's just a giant mess of seeing sky. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Fantastic. So that was pretty much it for that. Um, like I say, not fantastic in, at all. Um, I was going to sort of try and sort of like alter the shape outside a bit. Obviously, get it all the same colour and all the same blocks on the outside. Um, but I was going to try and turn it into something else. I'm, I'm not too sure what. Can you get outside? Thank you. I'm not sure what because it's just going to be a massive pain in the Rikatika to try and do, like re like destroy this entire thing, and then it's going to leave me a massive gap, and I'm not going to like it. So I just kind of want to sort of change the art and like alter the shape to it. So basically, just rebuild it on the outside and just alter the interior. Um, it's going to be more work, but it sounds easier to me. Uh, <laughs> and also try and do something with the outside as well. And then this here. This was my girly pearly circus, um, which I never actually built the inside of. Um, I did like a tie rope. That was pretty much it. Uh, but I, well, I um, I did used to have like an obsidian pit here with a hole that went out there with like a TNT cannon. It was fun, uh, but I got bored of it. So I'm gonna be real, real. It, I can't speak. So I'm gonna be rebuilding it. Um. And I am after some help, so if you have any ideas for building a circus on the inside or what to put in it, give me a shout and we'll go through on that there. And then there is my little rocket, which not came from Stampy at all. Not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it, the interior is just sort of pretty standard on that one, so I'm not going to go through all that. There was my sheep, um, which used to have a lot of sheep in it, but animals stopped spawning on here, so I had to get rid of them all, um, which is very sad. And then this girl, um, she was called Ashley. Um, I was trying to find out a couple of weeks ago why her name was Ashley, and no one knew. We, I, I couldn't find out. No one knows why her name was Ashley. It was just like that. Um, and then we have little old Zekrom Tom's castle. Um, I was going to get rid of this sign because I've, I've not really spoken to him for a long time, and it's just kind of there. But it lights the sky up a bit, and I like that. So that's that bit. Um, then we've got my little wishing well and um, I've got another little house which I've built just to try and sort of make it seem a little bit more like a little town with another house I don't think I've got any beds because I was gonna sleep Um, so as you can see my buildings dramatically improved um, since that that little monstrosity and um, so no I've not got a bed over here but it's all good don't worry we'll survive the night I think I'm on peaceful anyway so it's all right um, and then down here, I had my little cactus run mini game, which it's not really a mini game, is it? I suppose you just kind of jumped up and you had to sort of try and make it. Why? Why did I make that over? You have to sort of try and make it over without die falling off. Eh, I can do this. Eh, I made it. <laughs> if it was like a bit longer, I think it would have been like a little bit more interesting. But okay, fair enough. Um, this here. I used to be, I used to have birch woods um, as the top half, and the first layer was, I think it was purple and black wool. Um, I'm not too sure what it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be a pig race when you could first sit on pigs, I think. Um, so it turned into a mini golf course, which I haven't really done many obstacles yet. Um, but as you can see, we can... Sweet, I made it. I've just lost my... Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I wasn't like, last time, like, I was trying this for ages, and nothing went, it just got stuck on the fence, so I wasn't expecting that to actually, uh, to actually go in. Um, but it's all good, we got this. Um, where, why is it over here? Uh, I was like, what, what happened? Okay, anyway, well, let's move on from this. Um, 
and then here, what was here? Um, oh, there was like a giant thing, like a giant thing there, um, with sugar, half of it was sugar cane, half of water. I'm not sure what it, that was supposed to be, but sure, we're gonna rock with it. Um, this was obviously my Rubik's cube. Um, I had my giant paw prints in here to try and make use of the inside of it, but it didn't really work out too well. And obviously, I've got to uh, rebuild it, but oh well. Um, this is my little boat battle mini game. Uh, this was not long after the fixed boats, one as many times. And you basically could have two people on each team and basically just try and destroy other people's boats. Uh, there was obstacles and it was like pool floats and everything um, that I built later on, but obviously I mustn't have had it uh, on this older version. Um, but yeah, so then there's Stampy's little caterpillar game. Uh, I can't remember what I ended up calling it, but it's exactly the same concept. Um, and then there's me, uh, there's my giant me statue, which I only built like three days ago, which I love. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's me. And then there's that one that Stampy had, which you basically stand in your pod and you have to shoot an arrow up in the end, trying to destroy all your minecarts. Um, there was that one. And then I started to get into like this style. So I was going to build a load of mini games based on like the four colors and the four corners. But I decided against it because of many reasons. Um, I have a little house that I built up here, a little mansion sort of thing. Um, but I didn't really do the interior with that. Um, and then there was this one here. Oh, what did I record on it? Last Man Standing. Okay, sure. So, from what I can remember, you either, either, you either had snowballs or eggs, and you had to basically try and also do your parkour, but at the same time, you had to try and be like the last one up at the top. So, I know it wasn't hard parkour, but you'd be con you'd have like, I think there was two on each team. So you'd have one that would try and do the parkour, then one that would try and knock everybody else off. Um, with like snow either snowballs or eggs. It was pretty fun to be honest. I just it's I probably sounds more fun than what it is and I can't get out. You had to jump over the wall, didn't you, to get out. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like I say, it wasn't the most thrilling and exciting idea, but to be honest, it worked pretty well and we all liked it. So that was all fun and games. Let me just jump out. So here is where I've obviously just been finished off doing the terrain. Um and I think in, in the newer one that I had, which I've got to rebuild, it was here somewhere. I had like a hop and duck game, which I used to like. Um, so that was all good. That giant floaty thing up there, I'm not sure what that is or why it's there or who built that, but we're going to go with it. Um, here I had a little horse race, as you can see, with all that leaves inside. What's her name? Sparky? Sparky? Sparky. Um, and then there was this one here, which is another one I used to like. I go in the one side that hasn't got TNT in, of course. Um, so basically with this one, what you had to do was you went down um, and flick the switch and all these pistons started going up and down and they'd sort of try and block them. Now you would have been stood, where did, I think you just used to stand there, I think. Um, so obviously you'd used to have, you used to have to, you'd have to try and shoot the buttons that are on the opposite sides of the wood so like obviously i could press up there and that block would be going up and down in the way so i couldn't shoot that and i have to try and shoot that button there which would basically set a tnt off and it send them flying and that would be the end of that basically <laughs> uh, but that was that one um and to be honest i don't think we're too far off now um this was just off my tnt cannon and um, the my little boat side thing and then this was you just have to sort of get fired. I think that's what that TNT guy was for you to get fired out and try and land in the hole at a certain point. But then stupid part of my house got built over it, so it doesn't work too good anymore. This was supposed to be a little restaurant that I was going to do, but I never actually got round to it. So now the only thing really apart from that one here, which I'll show you, uh, is the house. So we're going to be racing the cake. Okay. Um, so what you had to do, from what I can remember, you had to go in on the corners and then you'd sort of get all standing in the middle you'd have to try and be the first person to get to the top basically so i do remember you needed an item for this so you had to sort of try and go like that come up on the top and then if you kept jumping i think eventually you'd try and get on the top bit so there you go like that and you have to try and bring it on there get it up press up and then get to the top and you know bob's your uncle really uh, it was that easy, but when I first did it, it was like incredibly hard because like nobody knew the way to do it. Um, but obviously once we all started playing a bit, we all sort of figured it out. And we're like, okay, this is really easy and we never played it again. Uh, 
But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the outside. And obviously we've got little old Red Cat's hut, which I love. And that's not going anywhere. So, coming into the inside. Now, I will have videos of obviously me running through on my old channel. Um, so obviously you can see how much this has changed. Um, but basically, you sort of come through. And then... So, the back that you had all your mining... It's mining, you have uh, smelting and crafting bit, that one. Uh, I'm going to go this way first. Um, so, down here we had... I think this was where my front room was supposed to be. Um, at my little living room, but it was too small. So, what I ended up doing was... I've got like signs by the about which sort of tell me like what I'm doing with things. So, this is going to be like a little sort of like conservatory sort of bit, which is sort of like another uh, exit, which I think I'll go off that way, uh, which will basically just lead into like the little town bit. So, it's just like another entrance, really. Um, and then, it's the interior design needs some improvement uh, <laughs> at the moment. So, this here was my kitchen and dining area. So, I was going to put like little sort of tables and that here, which I never just got around to doing. Um, but that's fine. Uh, I'll get around to it. So, and then in here, no authorized access allowed. What the hell's in here? This was my bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> this was my bathroom. Uh, I think this was just supposed to be sort of like a dump room. Um, so I basically have like a little like dump chest and, uh, and <laughs> just like dump my inventory all the time. Uh, my walk-in fridge freezer. This was just how this room was. I'm not too sure what it was supposed to be, but that's just what it was. So I'm going to convert that into a fridge freezer walk-in thing. Then we have Shadow's little potion shop, where oh, yeah, he'd come through, uh, and then he had his little old WC down here, where he'd get all his resources from, just through all this bit down here and through there. So, uh, that is pretty much it for this side. I'll leave that open. Um, so, if we come through here, and then we go back round, um to be assigned yeah so this leads to the chest room so this i think i had a lot of cats in here at one point i think um but yeah we're just gonna sort of roll with it and then on top for whatever reason there is a giant pool with the bed um uh, which i used to just love sleeping there because I, I used to have a thing with like beds and in water and that sort of thing and uh, so this little passageway led to a little sort of chest room um and then you could also get down, or get up to it, sorry, just through going up through the waterfall and doing it that way. Uh, but we're going to ignore that. So, first of all, we have a guest bedroom there. There is Pumpkins' old room here. He used to have a balcony here, but I had to um, move it. <laughs> so, it's not there anymore. Um, and then, coming up this way is where all our bedrooms were. So, you have got mats, red cats, and my own. And then there was a little bathroom here as well. Because obviously I had to move it from downstairs by the kitchen. Um, but yeah. So come in. Or oh, I'll go this way first. Hey, actually, no, I'll go I'll go this way first. Um, so I've not really done like too much on interior design up here. But this way down there was my other bedroom. Which basically had sort of like personal things to me. Um, mainly signs, to be honest. Um... But there's a lot of stuff on there, so I don't really want to show all that. So I had my little clubhouse, and then down here there was a I think it was like where you got like all the water, just obviously to make the drinks and all the bottles and everything. Apparently, a load of chest plates, whatever that's all about. Um, but we're gonna go with it. And then we had a um, oh god, I don't want to do anything then. So if you come through this way, um, this was where. I had a load of uh, food dispensers. So I had sort of, I don't, what did you just chuck in them? Was it just redstone you chucked in it? I think, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but you chucked something, you basically got food out of it um, with a little melon farm, which if it still works, you went through here and press that. And then, yeah, there we go. And then all the melons started to feed into this chest here. Um, but this was gonna be turned into sort of like my living room. Um, because obviously I had a tiny one downstairs and I wanted a bigger one. Um, and then the only thing left really is just to go up that other little, uh, that other little staircase. So if we go back down through here, go back up, and then if we go around, so we had Tori's bedroom, which is that Tori tour story I was on about before. 
Um, so his little room, he had nothing in his chest, that's not good. <laughs> uh, here, we just had our, another guest bedroom. Um, this was somebody's, but I can't remember whose room it was. So it's just like, okay, this, this is a guest one now. Um, and then through here, I've actually only just patched it up. Uh, but through here, basically led to our bedroom that's there. Because this used to be like a full corridor, like another room at the end. But obviously, I've had to get rid of that. There was also another room here. Um, oops. Which basically now is just this bit. So I've made this room a hole a little bit bigger. Why have I just got random holes everywhere? And I'm pretty sure you've just seen where this leads up to. Um, so this just goes up to my little tower up at the top. Um, which I will show you when I get there. And this is all it was, really. But the idea was, is when it was night time, there was so, like there was so much to look at. Because you had so, like your whole sort of like, thing on top of the girly pearly over there. There was that random fire down there, whatever that is. Um, there was Stampy's Hotel lit up. There was the top of mine lit up. All the top of the house here all lit up. Um, there was the top of the rocket as well. There was that sign down there. There was the Rubik's Cube. There was just, there was so much that sort of like, lights up at night. That uh, I used to think it was pretty cool. So I can't wait to be able to finish this off. And like I say, I am getting there slowly. It's going to be something which I'm probably going to need a little bit of help with now. So I'm thinking I have to reluctantly move over to Bedrock, which I don't want to do. Because um, none of my friends have Xbox One Edition anymore. Which is not the end of the world, but sure, we'll go with it. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that is only taking me 27 minutes. Uh, to try and show you everything and show you all this um, but yeah, so that's it So this was basically my world so far uh, and what I've managed to do like I say I'll try and do a separate video and get sit in uh, try and get snippets of how this used to be just so you can sort of get it for comparison But that is pretty much gonna be it if you did enjoy this video Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and also follow me on Twitter because I do updates of everything I'm doing over on Twitter so make sure you go and follow over there all links will be in the description but yeah that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye